Thank you. All right, let's do this. Um, if you're like me, you've been to a lot of, a lot of ski shows over the years, and you've heard a lot of, a lot of the, uh, the dire predictions about our industry and, and a lot of the headwinds that, that we face as an industry. Uh, there's climate change is a, is a huge, huge problem. Uh, there's a study that came out last year, which this graph is from, that says by 2050, just a little over 30 years from now, in the Northeast, where I live, the, the ski season is gonna shrink by about half. You know? And we're seeing those signs now. We see the reduced snowpack, we see the reduced snowfall. We see these literal signs, uh, which skiers saw in Grand Montana last year, where the glaciers are literally melting away underneath the lifts, and they're having to move lifts. Uh, so climate change is a big, big problem for us um, that we're gonna have to try to figure out how to fight. Um, but you probably also heard about the demographic waves that, that are a problem for our industry. Uh, the skiers, in general, are getting older. You know, if you look over the past 10 years, skiers 55 and older have actually grown nearly 40%. And this isn't because old people are taking up skiing. It's because skiers and snowboarders are, are getting older. Uh, more troubling is if you look at folks 25 and under, participation is falling, 30% in the past 10 years. Uh, we saw this in some of the earlier presentations. Millennials are, are not taking up skiing and snowboarding and refreshing the population of skiers and, and snowboarders that we need to really sustain this industry. So over the past 34 decades, you know, we really haven't seen any growth in participation. You know, we've really been bouncing around there between 50 or 60 million skier days uh, each year. Uh, we've hit over 60 million in the US, I think maybe twice. Um, you know, there's really only about 13 million skiers in the U.S., a little less than 4% of the population. Um, it used to be bigger. You know, 40 years ago, uh, there were a lot fewer people in, in this country. And, you know, since then, the population itself has grown 40% while our industry has been flat. Uh, so what are the bright spots? Well, we're fortunate that there's actually a, a group of people out there that want to embrace our culture. And they want to come to our mountains. And they want to spend money. And they want to be like us. And you, all, you see all these people. You see them out there on the mountain. And you might call them gapers. <laughs> Jerry's, Joey's, punters, newbies. You know, they don't know that you aren't supposed to have a gap between your goggles and your, and your helmet. Um, some of them, they, they don't even know how to wear goggles. They're out there in their mossy oak camo. They're in their rear entry boots. They're wearing jeans. But you know what? They're having fun. And they're having fun on the mountain every single day. Some of them don't even know how to wear their helmets. <laughs> you know, and when you see these folks and you see all those lift tickets that they have attached to their jacket from all the places that they've skied in the past 10 years since they bought that jacket, that's a sign of their passion. That's a sign, that's their trophy displaying all the places they've been and all the towns, the ski towns they've been to, spending money. Uh, so I think gapers are cool, myself. Uh, and one reason is because I used to be one. That's me at Breckenridge in the 80s. And let me tell you, that suit wasn't even cool back in the 80s. <laughs> My buddy has, you can see, he's skiing in jeans. I, we used a whole can of Scotchgard on his jeans that day to, to make him good and waterproof. But we had a great time, and we thought we were cool. And I want you to all think the Gapers are cool, too. Uh, so I've got a three-step program for you to think Gapers are cool. First is don't laugh at them. Don't pull out your phone and post that picture on Jerry the day. <laughs> Give them a tip. Give them a, who doesn't want an insider tip from a local? So help those folks out. Help them figure out that they put their skis on backwards. <laughs> help them figure out where to go have an apres ski beer. Maybe go have an apres ski beer with them because you know what? You share a common interest with them, a love of skiing and snowboarding. One, one other thing that my, my bonus tip um, for thinking gapers are cool is let's stop calling them gapers. Let's banish the word Jerry and the word Joey. Let's call these people what they, what they are. And that's skiers and riders just like us. And we need them. We need them to bring money into our, into our mountain towns, uh, and we need them to help us and be allies in the fight against, against global climate change. So, gapers are cool, thanks. Yeah.